the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And dear friends, we gather together to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, to commemorate and uh, prolong, as it were, the celebration of the birth of Jesus. And why not? Because Jesus Christ is always with us. His name is Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. He never abandons us. He's always faithful to His love. He keeps to His promises, truthful to the covenant that He made with us, that He loves us. And we hope that likewise agreeing upon this agreement, agreeing upon this covenant, we likewise would say to Him that we are faithful to Him likewise. But unfortunately, we have lapses that we have made. We have not been truthful to our promises and for that reason have go against the will of God. For this reason, to make ourselves worthy of the celebration of the Holy Eucharist once more, let us invoke God's mercy, forgiveness, and compassion. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, who dispersed the darkness of this world by the coming of your light, look, we pray, with serene confidence upon us, that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, the way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments whoever says I know him but does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him but whoever keeps his word the love of God is truly perfected in him this is the way we may know that we are in union with him whoever claims to abide in him ought to walk just as he walked beloved i am writing no new commandment to you but an old commandment that you had from the beginning the old commandment is the word that you have heard and yet I do write a new commandment to you, which holds true in him and among you. For the darkness is passing away, and true light is already shining. Whoever says he is in the light, yet hates his brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. 
Whoever hates his brother is in darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all ye lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord made the heavens splendor and majesty go before him. Praise and grandeur are in his sanctuary. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Please stand. light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel the Lord be with you and with your spirit a proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared in the sights of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, his child is destined to the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself a sword will burst, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang kasinungalingan, ang pandaraya, ay kasalanan sa Diyos. Sapagat ang Diyos ay pag-ibig. At ang pag-ibig, makatotohanan. Ang nakakalungkot lang sa mga panahong ito, eh lahat na pepeke. Ang ngipin na pepeke, pustiso. Ang buhok na pepeke, piluka. Pati palikmata na pepeke din. 
Ang mga halaman na pepeke, pati bigas na pepeke, mga gulay na pepeke, pati karne na pepeke, pati yung mga bulaklak na pepeke, plastic, pati pera na pepeke, pati pati ba naman pag-ibig? E eh, mapepeke. Kau karami ang namemeke ng pag-ibig. Bakit? Mga sinungaling. Mga mandaraya. Kalaban ng pag-ibig ang pagsisinungaling at pandaraya. At sapagkat ay Diyos ay pag-ibig, May kalaban ng Diyos, ang kasinungalingan. Bakit kanyo? Sapagkat kapag ka, ikaw ay nagsisinungaling at nandaraya, ginagawa mong tanga yung pinagsisinungalingan mo at pinandada, pinandarayaan mo. E sa lahat naman ng masamang katangi ang masasabi mo sa isang tao, yung katangahan. Kahit ka na mucho, mayaman, macho, makisig na pasipik, pero kung ito'y tanga, lahat ng magandang katangian bumabagsak. Eh yung mga nagsisinungaling at mga nandaraya, ginagawang tanga. Yung mga taong pinagsisinungalingan nila at pinandarayaan nila, dinadala nila sa kadiliman. At pinababayaan nilang mabuhay sa kadilimang yon. Eh sino ba gustong mabuhay sa kadiliman? Kaya huwag natin maliliitin yung mga kasalanan. Sabi na na, nagsinungalin, nandaya. Abay, laban sa pag-ibig yan eh. Kaya tingnan nyo, dito sa ating kababasa lang na Ebanghelyo, ano ang sabi ni Simeon? Nung pinakita yung sanggol na uh, pinresenta sa templo ng kanya magulang ni si Maria at si Jose, ito ang magiging liwanag ng sangkatauhan. Liwanag! Bakit? Tuturuan tayong umibig. Sa pagkatang pag-ibig, totoo lang, O peke. Ang pag-ibig na peke, hindi pag-ibig yon, Pag-ibig na sinungaling yon, Pag-ibig na nandaraya yon, Pag-ibig ba yon? A cheating heart is never a loving heart. Ang mga pusong sinungaling at pusong mandaraya, hindi pwedeng umibig. Bakit nga? Bubulaging ke. Biro mo yung kaisa-isang magandang katangi ang natitira sa tao, yung matino ka, na nakawin sa iyo at gagawin kang tanga. Aba, kung hindi ka gwapo, maraming remedyo dyan. Ngayon, marami na. Marami ng cosmetics and cosmetic surgery. Kung hindi ka mayaman, o sa sariling sikap siguro, yayaman ka, o baka swertihin ka, tumama ka sa loto, o ano ma. <laughs> Pero yung gawin kang tanga, sabi nga nila, walang ospital para dyan. Kaya yung mga nandaraya at nagsisinungaling, ay nako, ninakawang ka ng isang napakalaking ari-ari ang dapat sanay sa iyo. Kaya ang Diyos pumunta rito bilang liwanag, ayaw ng Diyos na tayo'y manatiling Nabubuhay sa dilim. E ano ba yung nabubuhay sa dilim? Nabubuhay sa pag-ibig na peke. Sapagkat nakatungtong sa panlilin lang at pandaraya. Ano ba yun? O, ano ba yung pandarayang yun? O, yung sasabihin sa'yo minamahal ka, Bakit kami na mahal? Mayaman ke. Ayan, ayan. Talaga bang minamahal ka? 
sa puso na nagsasabi sa iyo, <coughs> minamahal ka. Ang tinitingnan yung mamanahin mo. Peke yun. Pag nawala na yung kayamanan mo, no money, no honey, babay na sa iyo. Iniibig kita. Bakit? Ang ganda mo at sariwa ka pa. Ay kung tumanda ka na, yung dating kutising ka mas naging ampalaya. Oh. Pagsitsagaan ka pa ba? O maghahanap na ng bagong kutis kamatis? O kaya nga yung mga misis dito ang tumatanda na nagiging insecure. Lagi sinasabi sa asawa niya, Will you still love me when I am 60? Abay, kung yung asawa niyo ay pinakasalan kayo dahil lang kayo sariwa at maganda, ay Diyos ko, baka 40 pa lang kayo, pinagpalit kayo sa isa, sa iba na. Eh, peke, yung pagmamahal sa inyo. Minamahal ka sapagkat nasa pwesto ka, makapangyarihan. Alleluia! Alleluia! Oh. We always love a winner. Eh, hindi na natin sinisino. Kung sino yung tao, basta... Mas malaki chance ang manalo. Nandoon tayo. Bakit? Eh, baka makahati tayo sa kapangyarihan pagkatapos. Oh, kaya yung mga politikong makapangyarihan, yun ang ginagawa nating Nino, Nina, sa Binyag, sa Kasal. Bakit? Mahal ba natin yung mga politikong yun? Ewan. Alam ko, marami, kaya ginagawa ni Ninong at Ninang para mabilis ang pagpasok nila sa Malacanang, sa Munisipyo, sa Kongreso, o kung saan pa man. O pag wala na, bumaba na, o bumagsak na sa kapangyarihan, nasaan na tayo? Nabali ang sanga, di humanap ng iba, o di, pagbabago ng partido. Ah, yan ba pag-ibig? Puro peke yan. Kaya ang Diyos, dumating dito sa daigdig at naging sanggol. Oh, sino hinahanap niyong Mesiyas? Si Simeon lang ang nakakita. Itong sanggol na ito ang Mesiyas. Kayo, pag nakakita kayo ng sanggol, maalala niyo ba Mesiyas? Siguro kung di lang tayo kristyano, siguro nakalubog pa tayo doon sa kasinungalingan na ang Mesiyas ay manggagaling magmula sa ibang planeta na Superman! Superhero! Na kung ano hilingin nyo, bibigay sa inyo. Gwapo! Makapangyarihan! Ah. Mayaman! O, oh, yun ang gusto natin. Ang binibigay ba naman sa ating manunubo, sanggol, sa sabsaban, ano makikita nyo dyan? Ang hina-hina. Aalagaan mo pa. Paano magliligtas yan? O, oh, yun, sanggol na yan. Diyan yung pinakitang mahal tayo. Sasamahan tayo magmula sa ating kahinaan, magmula sa sanggol hanggang sa kamatayan. Kasama tayo, hindi tayo bibitawan. Hindi tayo sasamahan kung tayo mayaman lang. Hindi tayo sasamahan kung tayo maganda lang. Hindi tayo sasamahan kung tayo mayaman lang. Hindi, sasamahan tayo sa ating kahinaan. Ayan, sanggol. Hanggang sa kamatayan. O kaya kayo mga misis, o nandiyan pa ba si mister? 
Ilang taon na kayo nagsasama? 30 anos, 50 anos, matatanda na kayo, nandyan pa. Oh, wala nang romansa siguro, kahit nagustuhin nyo, bumibigay na yung katawan, mahina na. Pero nandyan pa rin. Madali kayo mambutas ng bulsa dahil heavy kayo on maintenance. Pero nandiyan pa rin yung asawa nyo, inaalagaan kayo. Sa makatwid yun ang pag-ibig. Kaya nga sinumpaan nyo kung kinasal kayo sa kalusugan at sa karamdaman. Ang oh, ayan. Oh, pag kayo sumapit sa karamdaman, doon yung makikita, ang hinahina nyo na. Pero nandoon pa rin siya. Oo, oh, diba? Doon yung makikita, tunay na pag-ibig. Sa kahirapan o sa sabsaban, tingnan nyo, o oh, doon pa sinilang. Sa Panginoong mahabagin. Bakit hindi sa palasyo ni Herodes? sapagkat hindi niya kailangan yung kayamanan natin. Ang Diyos mahal tayo sa ating kahirapan. Meron na ba sa inyo nagmahal sa isang tao dahil sa kahirapan niya? Buti kung gawin niyo pang kaibigan, din siguro kinikibo. Ay, che, pwera yan. Mga mata pobre. Meron na ba nagmahal sa iyo dahil yung tao yun mahirap? Yun nga, inaiwasan natin yung mahihirap. Utang ng utang. Hingi ng hingi. Ayan, ah, o. Oh. Sinamahan ni Kristo. O. Oh. O oh, kaya kayo, misis, kung kayo nasa karamdaman at you're heavy on the pocket because of your maintenance, nandiyan pa rin yung asawa nyo, sinusuportahan pa kayo. O. Oh. Tapat yan, doon si sinumpaan niya na in health or in sickness. Hindi lang nung panahon kayo, eh, mayaman, eh, eh, naghihirap na kayo. Magkasama pa rin kayo. Ayan ang tunay na pag-ibig. Yung pag-ibig niyo sa mga anak niyo, mahal niyo ba ang mga anak niyo dahil tagumpay? Kaya yun yung mahal kapag kabalediktoryan, salututorian, kapag ka medyo mahina ang ulo, no, tinatakwil nyo, ako yan, may kahinaan ang ulo itong anak kong ito. Ah. Kapag ka masakitin, ano ginagawa nyo? Pinibigyan nyo ba ng halaga ng anak nyo? Di ba nandun pa rin kayo? Mas lalo nyo nga hinaalagaan sapagkat kailangan kayo. Kaya pag nag-iinggit yung iba nyo mga anak na, Mami, may favorite ka. Bakit yung aming kapatid na may polio, lagi mong inaalagaan, kami hindi mo masyadong napapansin. Hindi mo kaya kami mahal? Ano ang tasabi nyo? Mahal ko kayong lahat. Kaya lang yung inyong, yung, yung, inyong kapatid na may polio, mas kailangan ako. Yung mas mahal mo. Mahal mo din sila, yung mga malulusog. Pero ito, kailangan ako. O kaya sinamahan tayo ng Diyos. Magmula sa kahirapan, kawalang kapangyarihan ng isang sanggol hanggang sa kamatayan sa krus. O, iyon ang tunay na pagmamahal. Eh kayo, paano kayo magmahal? Peke. Mahal nyo sapagat mayaman, mahal nyo sapagat maganda, mahal nyo sapagat makapangyarihan. Oy, pumunta kayo sa palasyo ni Herodes. Nandoon siguro ang Mesiyas na hinahanap ninyo. Yan ang pag-ibig na nawawala sapagat peke. Ang pag-ibig na hindi nawawala, eto. Bakit? Sapagkat lahat ng sinabi ko sa inyo na kaya natin minama na isang tao dahil siya'y mayaman, maganda, makapangyarihan, lahat siya nawawala. Kaya kayo, kung yan ang magiging batayan ninyo sa pag-ibig, 
wala akong magmamahal sa inyo sapagat yung kayamanan nyo, mawawala din yan. Yung kagandahan nyo, mawawala din yan. Yung kapangyarihan nyo, mawawala din yan. At matatagpuan nyo, nag-iisa kayo. Pero kung anyong pag-ibig at tunay, Magliligtas sa inyo ang tunay na pag-ibig. Iibigin kayo sapagkat mahina kayo. Iibigin kayo sapagkat mahirap kayo. Iibigin kayo sapagkat pangit kayo. Iibigin kayo sapagkat walang yaman kayo. Kapag ka nakakuha kayo ng ganyan, yan ang tunay na pag-ibig. Saan yung makikita yan? Balik sa sausaban. Huwag kayong maniwala sa kasinungalingan ng mga Herodes. Let's all stand to offer our prayer. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the family of the church may be an example and a guide to the nations of the world in their search for harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show greater appreciation to our family members whose love we take for granted, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families who are separated may be reconciled with one another, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive the warmth of love and support from family members, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that eternal rest and perpetual light may be granted to those who have departed from this world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty Father, grant that this continuing celebration of Christmas be for us the recognition of the light that Jesus has given to us, that love that is true and honest, the love that takes us up as we are, weak, poor, and helpless. And yet it is precisely because of that weakness and helplessness that He loves us, not only today, but forever. This love we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about the glorious exchange that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the word through whom you made all things, so whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, is incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. During this Christmas season, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion and as he fulfilled his covenant to redeem us from our sins so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. <laughs> Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Pivelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, and Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, it may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. From this honesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord that conscience may always be our ultimate norm, that the common good may always be our highest goal, that human dignity may be respected all the time, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Kami po ito sa pusong nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyong nagsidalo at nag-iisa sa pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia. Naway pagpatuloy po ninyo ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Makakaasa kayo na makapapatuloy din kami sa pagdarasal para sa inyo at para sa inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join. Now please join for the prayer for the blessing of the sick and then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.